Okay, good afternoon folks. Um, little garden update. The uh, beneficial bacteria arrived. Um, I decided to go with the autumn leaves. This beneficial bacteria and the autumn leaves product uh, is designed to break down um, organic materials that the nitrifying bacteria cannot break down. Um, I.e. uneaten food that we went over before gets down into the gravel and messes up filtration um, pushes the water above the gravel causes exposure to the sunlight and promotes um, algae so I went with the autumn leaves because it's very concentrated the bacteria works at lower temperatures hence the word autumn okay uh. Go over these peppers first because um, I'm beginning to get some pepperage. Um, it looks like when there are multiple sites, this camera is just not going to do justice. Um, it causes a lot of uh, energy uh, when it actually goes to bore fruit. Now, if somebody can tell me what and when I'm supposed to pick these, these are either California Wanderers or they are the um, yellow pepper, pepperoncinis, Greek peppers, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I've got here. Um, that's what happens when you take uh, gifts from friends and farmers and compost heaps and that type of stuff. Um, the only thing I do know is that all of this is. Uh, heirloom. So, um, as heirloom goes, I guess there's a huge variance that can be done. Still no fruit on this. I think that's because uh, uh, it's uh, taking a lot of energy to hold itself up. I guess those hanging plants that uh, they show on TV, the tomato plants, are of a unique, uh, possibly GMO altered structure. I don't know. Just can't stop it. See how they want to grow up tall here and then they'll fall over again. I mean right out of this space right there. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to the magical, uh, oh look, this is a little update to be interested in. That is the watermelon. Um, that was from seed. It's taken forever. Uh, this was supposed to be watermelons from the compost bin um, that was given to me by an organic farmer buddy of mine. That dirt is really good. And once again, we keep pulling mystery plants out of this. Those are two more mystery plants. I'm thinking that they might be um, tomatoes, but what do I know? Obviously, I've been confused. I was told by my farmer buddy that this was a cucumber. But uh, now he's uh, he, he he he's not calling it a cucumber anymore. Uh, he thought it was a cucumber. So did I. Um, I guess that might be a string. What did they call that now? If someone knows what this is, it is not a watermelon. Um, here's the leaf from it. If you could let me know, that would be great. It's not a cucumber either. So uh, I don't know really know what it is. Um, somebody said breadfruit but I don't know what that is. Get a little perspective. Just a finger, how about a thumb? Here's some perspective, the whole hand. Boy, that's heavy. And, yeah, obviously that's gonna fall off there pretty soon. 
but to bust out the diapers again. The beans are finally beginning to uh, to climb. You can see, oops, you can see there is okra coming in. And I believe, look there, I took that vine all the way across. And now it is going to climb, look here, it's going to climb the uh, sunflower, which, by the way, has burst open. You can see that. The sunflower has burst open. Put that right centered frame in there. So I am estimating that that sunflower might be seven or eight feet tall, maybe six. It is approximately 34, 35 inches off the ground. And way up there. Uh, I think I went over this. We've made the turn on whatever this plant is. Um, not for sure what it is. If the beans don't hurry, coming up this line here, and this line here, and this line here, they're going to be dwarfed by whatever this is. Um, Six fifty. Okay, we're uh, we're hammering at it. The only thing I could go on about is, of course, the tomato sets. They are everywhere, and it's ridiculous. Uh, something I have not seen on the tomato plant, but that doesn't mean anything. Is this orange coloration? I don't know if the sun's going to allow you to see that. I have seen where the leaves will go from from. Um, green to yellow with black spots um, more like this uh, so you're not going to see that no you won't see any of that but instead where this is probably an excellent example just low light um, but this orange is what's very weird I mean, this is starting to look like grapes. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, and some of these cherry tomatoes are going to be as large as golf balls, man. I mean, how long does it take a cherry tomato to turn uh, to turn red? It's getting pretty ridiculous. All this is getting pretty ridiculous. I guess I'll be... I will be a cherry tomato. No question about it. Um... Oh, look here. Wow, I will be. That is a lima bean over here trying to get choked out. No light. It's trying everything it can to, uh, to continue to live. Very great beaker. If you need one. Um, okay, so I added in the beneficial bacteria. And uh, hopefully we should see these puddles. You can see over here, I don't know if I can give you a good good look. Look here. Just a tremendous amount of food in the bed. These fish are just pissing me off. Unbelievable. Look at this. What are they doing? I can't feed them any slower. I'll be standing out here all day feeding them one pellet at a time. I refuse to do that. Look at that. Huge pigs they are. It's the heat. They're just striking. They're full of themselves. Can you see them? I'd put them over here, little punks. I got a good mind to show you guys, but you won't see anything. Nine forty four. The noise is loud as hell. Okay, that's it. A uh, little update. Uh, nothing grand. We're almost going to make the turn up here. So we'll be bending them over. Okay, see you. Thanks.